I am literally about to, why is it doing this? Hold on. I am literally about to win at Father's Day. Okay, let me explain. I have the perfect, perfect, perfect present picked out. This thing right here is a camcorder, okay? You know you know what camcorders are, right? They're an old fashioned video camera. The biggest difference is that they record on these little tapes. Each of them are about an hour long. I think there are, yeah, each of them are about, six, each of them not about. Each of them are 60 minutes long. My dad has had this camcorder for a very long time. And when we were younger, he used to record on it all the freaking time and made tons of videos. The problem is only about like 40% of those videos were actually like burned to DVDs. And once they were burned to DVDs, about five years ago, I like went and I organized all the discs and I burned the DVDs to the computer. But there's a good 12 discs, 12 or 13 actually, that haven't even been um, transferred to digital or DVD, right? So the only way you can view them is if you plug this thing into the power outlet and you literally watch it in the little screen that you see here. For Father's Day, which is coming up in about six days, right now it's Monday, it's coming up on Sunday. For Father's Day, my plan is to digitize all of the video files for him. And I have this little flash drive right here, which I'm gonna use and I'm gonna put all of them on here. I'm gonna surprise it him. The way it's gonna go down on Sunday, it's gonna be like this. Dad, you've been the greatest father ever. So for your Father's Day gift, this is your present. And he'll be like, wow, a flash drive. Thank you so much, son. Um, this is the greatest present a father could ask for. Um, thank you. And I'll be like, <laughs> dad, it's not actually just the flash drive. It's actually what's on the flash drive. And in fact, you're gonna have to give the flash drive back to me right after you transfer all the files because I actually paid a lot of money for this flash drive and I still use it and I need to keep it, so. And then he'll be like, okay, let me grab my computer. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Wow, you did all this? Son, you are the best son that anybody can ask for. Boom, and that's exactly how I win Father's Day. Remember how I said I'm doing it all myself now? The problem is that I need um, an adapter for it. Of course I do, we all need adapters for things nowadays. So I'm actually gonna do a get ready with me to go to Best Buy to buy, actually I need to first Google how much it is because I don't wanna be caught off guard. Home, tan, fit, and ready. Turn it up like getting heavy. Wow, wow, West Coast. These are the girls I love the most. They have one at Walmart, so I might go there even though it's a little further away, but I just need to get it. And I'm now headed out to Walmart. Once again, I've got my little microphone clipped to the seatbelt instead of the shirt because it's just funny to me. So anyways, um, wow, lovely. I love that. I love that. That's... Like, I used to hate hats because I hated how they made my face look. But, like, I kind of realized, like, if I stick some hair out underneath the hat, and if I kind of just, like, think better about myself, then it's kind of actually looks good. Am I going the right way? Hold on, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, I am already going the wrong way. I can make a circle, it's fine. Wow, I am loving how this looks. I'm so happy I made this purchase. It was like, it was actually only $10, the stand that I got. And I love it because it's just like a normal phone stand, does not block my view. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, so I've been kind of wearing hats a lot more because I'm growing out my hair and I kind of want to... I'm kind of using hats to keep it under control. I couldn't actually find my main hat at the time, but I'm using this hat. It's from Alcatraz and I actually got it branded, if you notice, on a couple camping trips. And branded is literally what you think it is. It's like when they take a hot iron and they like branded. I think there was also some sort of controversy when I was when I was getting it done at the camp about like not being allowed to use the word branded I think. I don't really remember so I may be incorrect um, in terms of what I'm talking about so in terms of the words that I'm using but anyways um, yeah. It's now officially the start of week three of summer of official summer since graduation and I have to say like I haven't done anything exciting at all. There's no memories that I've made in the past two weeks now but honestly like I've been really like, I feel like I've been really enjoying my life so much more lately. And I've been kind of, I make lists of what I'm gonna be getting done each day. And I get a lot of stuff done during the day. And it's just a lot of like, some of it's fun stuff, a lot of it's involving videos. And it's just like, it's a lot of just like really like prioritizing myself, getting stuff done, working towards the future maybe, and getting tasks done that I haven't like, gotten done in a while you know just doing a lot of different stuff and like of course a lot of days are boring but I, I don't know I've been the weekly plans that I've been making have been kind of keeping me on my like keeping me active a little bit I've been working out so honestly like despite the fact that I haven't made any memories I've been enjoying myself lately a lot another way I see it is that next summer right when I'm when I finish college I'll be with college friends right there will still be time to make memories and stuff but this is the only summer where I don't have any sort of responsibility right during the days I can fill it however I want I don't have any school 
schoolwork. I don't necessarily have any like major like chores. The only chores I'm doing are just like, you know, housework chores, of course, right? Like I'm not really like a homeowner, right? So I don't have homeowning duties. It's great, I love it. It's kind of a long drive to Walmart, by the way. There's not really any that are close to mine, so. But it's fine, I haven't been to that area in a long time. It might be nice. <sighs> I cannot find what I'm supposed to be looking for. I don't know how I can be so stupid. I didn't check online and you can only order those things online. So I just wasted a trip out here. I was pretty stupid. And the thing is is that I'm not usually this stupid because I'm always really good at like checking to make sure. One second, I just need to back out. This parking lot's kind of scary. The thing is I'm always really good at like making sure about checking stuff online before I go in person so I don't waste my time. But for some reason I fully neglected this and I'm a little annoyed at myself for that because I didn't like, that's not the kind of thing that I wanted to do and I didn't really want to make a whole waste of trip out here. Long story short, the adapter that I needed is only online. Like I can't buy it in person. So I guess it makes sense because this is such an old adapter that they don't really need to. Uh, I just saw somebody that I know. Oh my God. So what I did was I just, um, I flat out, uh, I flat out just ordered it on Amazon, okay? Prime delivery, it should come tomorrow. It's just, like, it's gonna come tomorrow evening. I already know that, right? So it's just an extra day that's just going to waste. And it annoys me because I really wanted to get started today so I don't have to be scrambling for time the next couple days. So, but it's okay. I mean, I can, I'll get through it. Oh, there's no, oh, I missed the mark. The second thing that happened to me that sucked was I was trying to go get a Celsius, but Walmart doesn't supply those apparently. And I'm just learning that now. And it annoys me because I wanted a Celsius, but I got it in an Alani energy drink. So we're gonna give it a little taste test right now. This is what it looks like, it's peach. Let's get a taste test. Not bad. But I decided I'm not gonna make this a wasted trip by going to the gym. There's a gym here of the ones I normally go to and I'm gonna go to that one. Because I also like won't be able to go later this evening because I have to pick my sister up from somewhere. So I can handle it, it's all good. Gosh, whatever, it's fine, I ordered it. It was a good trip out. So I actually finished the gym and I feel bad because I didn't film anything even though i told myself i actually was going to film some on my phone but the problem was was that my gym crush was there i think you can understand but anyways um no i actually like even though even if um, my gym crush was there i still was going to try to like film a little bit but i was so hyper fixated on like just not looking stupid you know because i'm not like a professional gym person i've only been going to the actual gym gym for like two three weeks now and I'm still like a little self-conscious, but I've gotten a lot better and I feel a lot better about going to the gym and stuff. The funny thing is, is that this was my first time going to this specific, yikes, I'm like out in the lane. I'm sorry, car, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, that was such a bad idea, I'm sorry. God, that was actually so freaking stupid of me, what I just, the left turn I just made. And this car is also pretty stupid with their left turn too, so it's fine. Funny thing is, is that because this LA Fitness is near the Walmart that I needed to go to, that's the only reason why let me give you a full backstory. So this crush isn't actually my gym crush. This is stupid. I feel so freaking stupid talking about crushes in front of the camera. But this crush isn't an actual gym crush. This is the first time I've seen them at the gym. And basically, I had to go to Walmart, right, to get the whatever, what I needed. And I had to, also later tonight I have, like I have work work. But before work I have to go pick up my sister from somewhere 30 minutes away. So it's like, I won't have that much time to work out before I go to work. So. There was the LA Fitness right here, and uh, there's an LA Fitness that's just right here, and I um, was like, okay, you know what? Let's not make this trip all the way out here to this Walmart a waste. Let's go to the LA Fitness, and let's get my workout done. That way I'm also free to go pick up my sister later this evening. And lo and behold, they were there. So now I'm literally gonna be coming here every single day this week until I go out of town, so. We did talk, and we are kind of sort of planning to meet up at the gym tomorrow, so. But I don't have, the, I, like I have no form of communication, so I need to like, so it's just like by chance that we'll meet each other in the morning-ish time, so. I feel so stupid talking about crushes to the camera. Please, please regard everything. I'm not down bad. Let's, let's get that clear. I'm not down bad whatsoever. I'm not stupid. I'm not a middle schooler, okay? 
I can have professional adult crushes, you know? I am an adult after all, right? Shit, I wanted to go to Whole Foods. Eh, I actually didn't really want to go that bad. I just missed the turn and I was like, eh. I only like wanted to go and browse, but it's also like almost 2 p.m. and I just want to go home and eat lunch. I need lunch. Anyway, my workout was good. I'm glad I did it. So yeah. Oh my God, this car is breaking really fast. I don't know what that was. That's all I have to say for today, actually. I don't really know. The rest of the day just looks like picking my sister up and going to work, so nothing really.